listeners and subscribers hope all is well so apologies in advance for all the car sounds you're going to be hearing blinkers and things like that i'm on the go so i just got my little digital voice recorder out here and decided to record something on the fly okay and one of the things that i see happening is that we are getting more and more away from what truly counts as alternative information i think in my opinion at least okay just my humble uninformed opinion is that looking at what used to be considered uh, considered alternative, uh, like Coast to Coast AM, you know, Art Bell, uh, Jim Mars, you know, Rob Skiba, people like people like this who who are really alternative, who are providing alternative information, and not so much like the Mark Dice or Stephen Crowder, okay, um, Joe Rogan. I don't know how these started becoming the new alternative which in a lot of cases what we're talking about the new alternative is political commentary okay just like what happened with the the Alyssa Milano sex strike thing it's like those on the other side are so quick to try to negate what comes out of their opposition that they sometimes don't even see when what they're proposing is actually in their favor. Like the, the, the Alyssa Milano sex strike thing, I was like, why fight that? Why are you invest, Why are you putting, pouring so much energy in trying to fight that? It sounds like it's it's good for your side, right? And I've said it before, less promiscuity, uh, less abortions, and less procreation of lefties. Okay, but that's not the only thing. It's like every time something comes out from, whether you're talking about the right or the left, then you, you've got political commentary about how these things should be spun or how you can use you know this argument against the other side to make them look stupid since when did that become the focus of people's attention rather than sort of educating themselves on some of the nefarious underpinnings of our political system our governmental systems and stuff like that i mean you know i thought looking at the you know area 51 and the government cover-ups and what are they hiding what are they lying about i thought that was alternative information you know but now alternative information again is just uh, right or left wing political commentary for the most part and you have these these figureheads these these talking heads where that is what people are subscribing to more than any other type of information where we're sort of parsing out some of the corruption from from our leaders that is what that is what I've always considered an, uh, alternative information is being able to suss out some of the you know the suspicious dubious nature of those who are making you know the decisions of what happens with our lives you know pointing out some of the inconsistencies in mainstream uh, news media so that we aren't uh, completely hoodwinked right like I talked about and other people already seen it before it was old news the the measles picture they used of that little baby and it was fake right it was photoshopped yet they're putting that on mainstream news media to, for, for the shock factor you know what i mean to try and get you to endorse certain things we would normally say no way to if we're just looking at it and that's why i've been so vocal about the vaccine topic lately is because let's just look at vaccines okay now they're proposing up to two thousand dollar fines a day okay uh one thousand dollar fines for folks Okay, um, jail time, banning from public spaces, and getting your door busted down in the middle of the night. I mean, that's absolutely incredible. Getting your door busted down in the middle of the night so f folks can confiscate your children. Um, that's just that's just untenable. You know, I that is how far we've come with just the vaccine topic alone. But then you've got people who, you know, only want to point out what Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is saying. You know, uh, what, what's, the, what's the newest information from the left? How is the right, you know, up Donald Trump's butt today? I don't think these are the important matters. I don't think these are w what really matters. You know, the, the left, right, dog and pony show, I don't think that matters. You know what I mean? There's a lot of, of things we can get done within that paradigm, I believe. But we fall all too often... Uh, victim to what the media punditry and what the talking heads want us to endorse. Like again, if if you if you want to know conspiracy, okay, ninety percent of that media is controlled by uh, four or five different corporations now. Okay, that's major consolidation. So if they wanted you talking about something or didn't want you talking about something, you would or wouldn't be talking about that thing. So why would we fall victim? to what they want us to be talking about. So if they're trying to get us to look in one direction, we know it's mis we know it's misguided, we know it's misleading. So why would we look in that direction? Why not look why not look the other way? 
you know, and, and that's that's just one of the th- that's just one of the things that I'm seeing. We're seeing people's disengagement with these kind of topics and just letting this happen. All right, I know ultimately the New World Order is going to have their short time. They're going to have their short time, but that doesn't mean you know people in the interim can't shore themselves up against some of this stuff to to add a layer of insulation to make sure you know they're not as impacted by it as the next person is. Okay, because when we're when we're looking at this, and I know this stuff is this stuff is nefarious, but we're talking about self defense. You know, this stuff transcends left right paradigm. Sometimes we I, I talk a lot about politics on this channel because politics is the vehicle uh, that those you know power pyramid players use to sort of push agenda. That's why they try so hard to get us to vote one way or the other, which is why I think there's something there to voting. I think that if they didn't spend so much time, energy, money, and effort to get us to endorse, you know, the measures they're proposing, that there, that there wouldn't, then there wouldn't be, there's something there, there's something there to that. If there wasn't nothing there, they wouldn't try so hard, okay? And now, it's, it's, we're making their jobs easier for them in the way that, you know, whatever narratives are coming out there, we'll, we'll fight about it again. They'll let us talk about the, the uh, gender-neutral bathrooms, okay? They'll let us talk about certain issues, but other issues they won't even let us uh, poke around at. Okay, they they demonize them. They call you names, and it's working. Unfortunately, I think it's working. And if we're going to sort of shake off some of that, you know, mental enslavement, we've got to start turning around and pointing the fingers at the the people who are telling us to point the fingers at others. You know, you got the rich folks trying to convince the middle class that the poor class is the problem. Okay, you've got the left trying to convince the right the problem. The right convincing the left is the problem, and both of those saying, you know, moderates and centrists aren't doing anything. So. Every, it's just, it's a multifaceted agenda in a lot of ways. It's working against us. And I just don't see how people aren't engaging themselves against these initiatives because it's not hard to realize that they exist. I mean, when they have you out there arguing, you know, sex strike or, uh, you know, whatever, you know, pick your narrative, they've got us by the balls. You know, I mean, like I said, the, the, the orchestrators must be tickled pink that we sort of fall head over heels for whatever narrative they put in front of us. And it's only a small few of us who were sort of saying, you know, let's not involve ourselves in that. Let's look at some of these real issues here. (sighs) Anyway, I could go on, you know, forever about this stuff. If you're not looking at the esoteric subjects here, if you're not looking at some of the stuff that's just blatantly out there, you're not going to get the whole picture of what's going on. Okay, because there's there's a lot of different elements to this stuff, and it's it's all tied into the same thing. It may not all be the same people. I understand there's different, um, you know, power pyramid factions all you know clamoring to gain as much control, the biggest piece of the pie as they can, you know, before they tip over the apple cart. I understand that that's there, but you know, when when we aren't sort of looking at that, or or we're letting ourselves fall victim to the you know the constant dog and pony show, uh, we're losing, we're losing. Thank you.